What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So we're doing the Baro Katir live spawn animation and inventory review. Reminder that Baro is only here every other week, so he is also going to be guaranteed to bring something technically new that he's never brought before. Uh, and yeah, just a reminder as well, we will be doing the new Destiny 2 raid, the Root of Nightmares, I think it's called, uh, later today on Twitch, like actually a couple hours after this video goes up. And we'll be doing it with some other Warframe streamers as well. So come on, stop by if you want to see the brand new Endgame Raid. Speaking of Warframe, I hope that we get some Endgame Raids announced this year at Tenokan. So Barrow's on the Earth Relay. And yeah, hope he has a mod drop booster. Hope he has some new Prime mods. But I think we all know at this point that he's definitely not going to have any new Prime mods. But it's been about six months. Maybe he'll finally have a mod drop booster again. So we're going to load in here. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good weekend and all that. Um, I will be doing lots of streams this weekend. Uh, so many streams that, honestly, maybe videos will be a little bit lacking because I think most people know at this point that it's a little bit of an off month for Warframe. We're waiting for Daviri next month, so there's really not much going on at all. Uh, we have Hildren on, like, the 15th, which is actually a Wednesday. I thought they usually release Prime Access on Tuesdays, but now yeah, we're getting it on Wednesday this time. So, yeah, um, as far as the new raid in Destiny, uh, I think it's going to be like on a pyramid ship or something. And I actually had the entire raid leaked to me, but I quickly turned away and didn't read all the leaked, uh, the leaked uh, you know, mechanics and all of that. And it was making a lot of people in chat ask, hey, do you think that Warframe could ever do a day one raid excitement? And I don't really think it would be exciting. I, I feel like it would just get data mined or something. Uh, and, you know... At the same time, like, would it either be an eight-player raid or would it just be a four-player mission, you know? So, do you have any ideas for how they could do a fun uh, experience for day one raid in, Destiny, or in Warframe? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, we got about, I think, like 30 seconds before Baro appears. Should be right there, big puff of smoke. Uh, and, yeah, it, it was, honestly, besides mod drop booster and, like, a new Prime mod, I have pretty much no interest in anything he's going to be bringing here. Um... Yeah, but, hey, you know what? Keep those keep those ducats for when he does have a mod booster. The reason I always talk about mod booster is because you can't really get it from any places. Uh, and I'm actually just going to dump a ton of ducats into this guy. There we go, when the mod drop booster appears. Alright, so what do we got today? We have no mod booster. We have some placeholder thing. The Re Reshantur Child's Tablet. Rashan Tour Child's Tablet is what you get from Baro this week in Warframe. I want to buy 24 of them. No, I'm not. Um, Corpus Surveyor Jenna Zosporin unearthed these tablets from the site of the massacre of Rashan Tour. Drusus Laverian History of Neja reveals why a child's hand could have carved these designs. Man, can we just get a Prime Mod DE? This is seriously like the second month in a row at least. How about, like, second year in a row, where Barrow has been garbage? Barrow needs a rework in 2023. This is disgusting. What is this even supposed to be? It's a, it's from Neja's Lavarian page? Who cares? The lore of this game doesn't matter. D doesn't care about the lore. I don't care about the lore. The lore is not important. Let's just go over this, like, as normal, since that was extremely disappointing to look at. They just can't make a new Prime mod, can they? All right, so as far as mods he's selling, these mods already existed, but he's brought them back again. Fang, Fusillade for rifles, gives you increased slash damage. Good on some builds, but this is actually farmable in-game. I believe it's from the uh, the Hydralist boss fight on, on uh, Earth, so you can technically farm that. Prime, point blank, a must-have mod for shotguns. I use this a lot. Very good for Hunter Munitions build. Very good for like damage over time builds and stuff, so just good. Uh, Bane mod's technically better for damage over time, but you can also jam on both in some situations. So, good one there. Prime regen for the Sentinel. Now, I don't know if they still if this is still the case, but this is one of those Prime mods where ranking it up to rank 10 actually isn't even necessary. I believe rank 9 on this mod also gives you 3 revives. So if you want to save like 20,000 endo, don't even put it at rank 10, put it at rank 9, you'll still get the extra 3 revives. If that's still the case. I feel like that's something they could have fixed at this point, but yeah. Uh, good Prime mod if you're using a Sentinel. I don't use Sentinels like ever nowadays, so 
up to you. And then we also got Mark of the Beast. Uh, this is going to make it where when you get six throwing melee kills, like Glaze, Serata, etc., within six seconds, your your uh, pistol will get increased critical chance and status chance for 24 seconds. Now, the main problem with this is that it does not refresh. You have to wait until the duration ends to, to recast it, I believe, uh, last time I used this. Uh, but it is a nice little buff to status chance and crit chance for uh, secondary weapons. Pretty good on things like the new core. Give it even more status chance. Uh, and honestly, the glaives do so much damage, you have room to put it on your build. So maybe consider it if you're looking for some fun. I did use this on a Mesa uh, Ensnare build a while ago, and it actually was kind of fun just to be like a, a cow res wrestler, whatever they're called, cowboy. All right, as far as cosmetics here, we've got uh, the Katir Earpiece, the Katir Sentinel Tail, the, Dom the Domus Cyandana, which is just a little mini light set, if you can just zoom in on it, um, the Tigris Elixir Skin, the Prisma Latron Shoulder Plate, the Prisma Latron Chest Plate, the Prisma Latron Leg Plate, the Dual Sword Lemnos Skin, which is actually pretty cool, the Gara Immortal Skin, by the way, guys, Gara is getting Gara Prime is getting vaulted with Hildren Prime, so just keep that in mind if you are someone that doesn't have Gara yet. And we got the Fey Path Ephemera. I feel like he has this like every single time he's here. It's not the best Ephemera, but it's 15 ducats. For weapons, he's got the Opticore Vandal, which I guess means just you, if you don't want to do Thermia Fractures, just buy it from him for 650 ducats. The thing is like above Mastery Fodder, I'd say, but. I don't know, I just don't really use it that much. It, it feels, it, to me, it, it's pretty much mastery fodder nowadays. Pretty much a Ferox, pretty much a you know, Tenant Ferox. Just, just not a weapon I really use. But it, it can do some good numbers. It has good status chance, good slash proc potential with, with 100 munitions. So maybe pick it up. It's a pretty cool weapon. It's not a very like phenomenal weapon. Just okay. Uh, Machete Wraith. This has, actually, this is pretty underrated, I'd say. Um, it's got good slash weighting, good status chance. Uh, okay crit damage. So it's got okay stats. Uh, I believe it's actually got really good Riven stats too. So maybe pick this up if you're looking for a uh, a slash weapon. I might pick it up. I don't know if I have this. I do still have this. It's a pretty fun weapon. I'd say maybe try it out if you'd like that type of uh, feel for a weapon, a machete. And then for the final page, we got a bunch of garbage here. We got um, the new thing, which is a stupid, the Neja, like, child's tablet. Uh, Freaking YouTube for kids up in here. We got 10x Katir Fireworks. We got Mantis Prisma Skin. We have uh, Neo 01 Relic. With the Odinata Prime as the rare part. Volt Prime Systems as the uncommon part. And who actually cares? The rest of this stuff is just pretty much placeholder trash. Um, so as far as recommendations this week, if you do not have any of this stuff at all, Prime Point Blank must have Prime Regen... I put like a, like a 7 out of 10 as far as must-have. It's very good for Sentinel builds, but I don't use Sentinel builds anymore. I only use like Kavats and stuff. So, and Volpophilus, and this doesn't work on either of those, so probably not in that case. Um, and then the rest of this stuff is really not a must-have at all. Uh, Opticor Vandal is pretty good, but it is 650 ducats, which is quite a bit. And you can technically get this from Thermia Fractures. Um, yeah, and honestly, honestly, it's pretty bad cosmetics this week too. So, yep, go have fun playing that Lightfall Raid. Let's go take a quick look at what this little child's tablet thing looks like in the ship, just in case it has some secret lore that opens the dungeon where the Void Hydra's been hiding this whole time, uh, and the Void Hydra's out of control. But I think we can just stop uh, coping and stop talking about the Void Hydra for a couple days. All right, decorate. And, all right, I'm just going to search child. Yep, the child's tablet. Man, you can't even make this stuff up. It's such a bad idea. Ah, it's huge. It's huge, dude. Um, I guess I can maybe place this here. That is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I got like a little mat that I can uh, go to navigation on. I don't know, man. I don't, I, what, are, what are these like little icons supposed to mean to me? Like, Am I supposed to understand what this is? Am I supposed to care what this is? Because I'll tell you what. I don't understand or care what this is at all. It just looks like a bunch of like cave drawings on, uh, on like a cracked tablet. So, yep. There you go, guys. There's your borrow. I'll see you later today on stream. Appreciate all the support. And yeah, have fun this weekend. Take it easy. Peace.